What is going on, Punk Nation, and welcome back to the farming server on Midwest Horizon. I've made a, another farm, so we have me, Mike, that owns server, and Chris, CDW Gaming, and we have this DOT. So we, I'm going to be putting some more trucks in here. i got to get a dump truck. Looking out there for options. We just have two vehicles. What we need to actually do is this this one is going to own all of the businesses so that we're able to plow it up. Unfortunately, it takes two fields from Cooper's farm, but uh, I think that's all we need. Alright, so we're gonna head to Cooper's farm. We got about an inch of snow. Nothing major. I've been seeing uh, people on Facebook asking how to get more snow. Uh, simply press Alt S, change the number of days of the season, download the, um, what was it? The. Oh, crap. Just had it on the top of my head. But it's, um, I don't know, it's like snow or something. But make sure you download one of the Geos to get more snow. All the snowy lands. That's what it was. I'll have to do the county roads later once we have a bigger truck, but we'll take care of the businesses first. If you guys would like to come and plow on the server, um, shoot me a PM, you know, or comment down below. Anybody can join the DOT side of it. Uh, if you want to be a helping hand to the farmers, obviously we have Mike, me, and CW Gaming. I'm looking for more actual farmers that want to farm, not someone that's going to blow off the server and then try to come back I don't want to deal with any of those problems be a true farmer you know I've messaged those people that were already on the server say hey it's summertime get your crops in no response so if you want to flat out blow somebody off like that don't expect to come back on the server don't even have an opportunity to come back on that's not how the world works So as we get going, we're near my farm now. Well, we have plenty of open fields. We got basically all the 90s open, the low 20s. There's plenty of farms, plenty of big fields. You can barter with all the other farmers. Um, I'm going to say right now, I ain't giving up 108 or 109. So I know 108 is the biggest field. I don't think Chris will ever give up 42, so. 108, I've already put wheat through it. It's got its winter wheat ready to go for the spring, which you can see it's growing. Obviously, it stopped because it's winter now, but it will pick back up in the spring. If you guys join the DOT, I highly suggest you guys come for the spring, the summer, and the fall and help out all the farmers. So if you want to be on the DOT crew, we're not just going to have people solely on the DOT crew. You're going to be helping all the farmers out and potentially beginning your own farm if you're loyal enough. All right, let's get to plowing. The plows work amazing on the server. No lag, no issues. All 
I didn't bring any salt with me, but I don't think we're going to need any salt today. This is a really big parking lot to do, so we'll see how long this takes. But thank you guys so much for all the support. Uh, definitely look out for all the 5M stuff. I got plenty more episodes of 5M for GTA 5. I encourage you guys, if you have GTA 5 on the PC, to go and download. It's kind of like Trucker's NP. Pretty easily go to their website, 5m.com, download the application, boom, you're done. In my opinion, I think it loads way faster than GTA 5 itself. And there's a lot cooler stuff to do. You can actually have modded cars on the server. You can basically play with all the mods that are on public websites to download. And pretty much GTA 5 is the same as Farming Simulator. There's Patreons. There's people charging money for mods. It's the same deal. I couldn't tell you who started it first, Farming Simulator or GTA 5. So, but it's kind of funny. Like, I put that Ranger in from a free website, and then magically it goes to other games like GTA 5. So I think it was definitely Spin Tires it went to. So, and then once I get back from vacation, um, I think I said I mentioned in another video when we were dropping off the stuff at the construction site. Uh, I'm going to be making that Patreon video now since I have a couple mods from various Patreon people I've reviewed tons of patreon mods since I pay for them I can be by I can share my opinion I don't have to be biased I don't have to follow any regulations from them because I have paid for the product it was not given to me so it will be my opinion and everybody has to respect that as long as I don't crap out on someone's mod, which I don't attend to, just to give the facts. The things that I will be grading on is obviously time. How long did it take you to release the mod? Um, were you releasing multiple mods? Were you releasing only one mod? Uh, that's going to be a big key. If I'm going to be paying money, do I only receive one mod or multiple mods? And obviously file sizes, textures, the whole shebang on the mod too. So with the Patreon we add how long does it take, how much money it is it, and are you just a complete faggot or are you nice in the community. That's the criteria that I follow. And I did obtain one mod for free, which was pretty fucking funny. You guys will definitely see that in the video from one of the Patreon people. He posted the link in a photo. Yep, um, I got a trigger finger because I play Call of Duty and I snapped a quick photo, got it, and now I have it. So there's actually one mod I didn't pay for from a particular Patreon person. Watch to find out. He's going to be so fucking butt hurt. But that's what you get for posting a link in a photo. But I hope you guys come and join us on the server. It is a lot of fun. This first, um... Season on the server was fun. Me and Chris battled it out, got the crops in, 
Um, we got a shit ton of silage for me. Um, I don't know how he made. He said he made okay with crops. I kind of went big for this first season. Obviously, I filled up three silage bunkers with the help of Chris and um, Jaden, I believe. So, it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun doing that. And let me know in the comments about if you guys have seen the important update video that I launched out on Friday the 22. Uh, it's something that we definitely need to be aware about. But if we look at history and how history rolls through uh, with the government, there are a lot of talk. And a famous saying that my dad has said, a lot will be said than actually done. So by all said and done, how much is actually going to be done what they're saying because when they start to try suing these creators what is a judge gonna really say a judge has their own opinion they may not be in the same boat as these senators and house of republicans and democrats you know whoever's trying to put the bill through or whoever's gonna take part in it everybody has their opinion if you're a judge you know, you have your own opinions about the law. You have a certain requ requirements to the law, but you can add your own opinions. Uh, maybe give harsher, um, you know, consequences depending on what it is. And I think a lot of judges are going to say, you know, a lot of these creators have made content for over five to six years. You really want to punish them? for what they have made five to six years ago. They had no idea that COPPA was ever going to come back and be this strong or any of these rules. I was told by the partnership that I go through, Freedom, they said, oh, you need to uh, put yes on Minecraft videos. Yes and no, because we talk about killing ourselves on the, the actual game and stuff and not falling from dangerous heights and... You know, did me and Andy know about that? No, we didn't know that that was ever going to exist, where we would have to later down the road pick if that was actually for kids. So, I've set my channel com completely no except those Minecraft videos, but I might just have to take those down to protect myself. So if you guys want to watch those Minecraft videos, I'm going to save them. I probably still have them on a hard drive, but definitely go check them out before I delete them. I'll probably delete them before uh, January 1st, so it's kind of how my channel started with GTA 5 and Minecraft on the Xbox. I think it was 360 and 1, because I think I did it on both consoles. So I think, you know, these people are just trying to get us hyped, trying to give us worried, and I think at the end of it, it'll probably just be like little $100 fines, you know? You may not get the $42,000 fine until, like, if you avoid them at all costs, or you continue, continue to upload content and not mark it. I don't think they're going to hit us with $42,000 right away. It may just be $25, $50 fines. It's just like when you first get a DUI, you're not going to get the major consequence. But if you do it three times in a row, you'll get the major consequence. And that's how all the laws are set up. So I think that's how it's going to go down. But I want everybody to be aware of it because if you can avoid it, it's better than paying the first consequence, which is always the lowest and having some type of record with the government because it'll just continue to get worse but with that I hope you guys continue to uh, make content I hope this doesn't stop anybody a lot of youtubers are moving over to Storyfire which is amazing because Jesse makes some good content the Psycho series was it was pretty entertaining. We all knew it was fake from the beginning, but it was a story that he was telling. And it was a very awesome series.
And I hope he continues to make that same content on Storyfire. Maybe Cycle 2 or something would be amazing from him. But leave me down in the comments below what you guys are going to do about this. Have you watched the video that I put out? Go watch some other videos too. I highly recommend. Boogie298 has made one. There's plenty of channels out there. Uh, definitely research your facts. Don't just watch my video only and take it that consideration. If you did Minecraft, definitely check yes for those videos. I've learned a lot more since that video. I will be coming out with a follow update as I learn more while I'm on vacation and I'm sitting in the car for 12 hours. I will definitely be watching some more videos, getting some more information. But definitely go check out there. I'll put some video links down in the description below of other people talking about this. But I think everybody gets the, the gesture that you kind of have to act like Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon. So... And also brings me to a point of talking about Boogie298. I'm not going to attack him by any means, but... Man, you know, I like your content and everything, but when you post videos about your weight, do you think that children want to see that? Maybe there's a reason why Kappa has to come back. You know, posting stuff like that, and it's not totally his fault, but when you decide to upload a video, let's keep that in mind. You know, I think, personally, I have multiple opinions about who uploads what, Maybe some of the media outlets shouldn't be posting about school shootings and tempting other kids to do it. When you upload stuff to YouTube, let's be mindful of what you upload. You may be recording in your own house, but when you're recording for YouTube, it's kind of like the public. So... Every time that I make a video or I'm planning on making a video, I go through those steps. Is it appropriate? Make sure I'm not showing any part of my body that is supposed to be covered in public. So, if you're doing a weight loss challenge, that's a different story. You know, there's weight loss challenges all over YouTube, but they have to be labeled that. So that children know, hey, I don't really want to watch this because this is about weight loss. So that gives them a pre-warning. So that's just an example of how I think how this all led to this. And obviously there's way more than that. There's cutie pie saying the F word, saying the N word. Like, come on guys. Let's all be, you know, actual human beings on what we post on the internet. Be careful. Because when that camera is rolling, technically you're out in public. Because you are posting stuff to the public world. Cussing in videos, it's not the end of the world. If you need to make a point across, like I know I've been in that situation. I know everybody's been in that situation when someone tries to call them out. But just tone it down. Don't try to cuss in every video. Don't try to cuss in every sentence. I can't believe that I'm only 22 years old and I act like I'm about 45 years old. It's ridiculous to see other people older than me acting like children. But that's just because I was born in the 90s and I had tough parents. So I definitely want to thank my mom and dad for being an awesome parent and willing to parenting me and make sure that I'm a good person I may not show it all the time to them but when I'm on the internet posting stuff like this sure I do I make sure well I'm not gonna board you guys I think this is pretty good thank you guys so much for watching We'll get some more snow plowing videos done. Meet me on the server. I'll be on weekends and then before work every day of the week before about 3 p.m. So if you're 
off of school one day or we got winter break coming soon. I won't be on Thanksgiving week because I'm gone, so server will still run. Probably about the time I get back from Colorado, we're probably going to be coming into the spring. So I don't know if it's still going to be winter time when I upload this video. But you'll just have to wait until next winter, which will only be for the game probably in the next four months. I think it will take about four months to actually get back into winter. Maybe three-ish. Because we started the server in June or July, I think. So, and I allow for some hiccup times, like it's, Mike is busy trying to get his own life put together, so sometimes he can't get it updated, so it sits there for like a week, so, servers ran 24-7, realistically. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching, um, if you're a YouTuber, definitely take those to consideration as a piece of advice. I'm not trying to defend anybody or talk hate, it's just the facts. Um, the government doesn't have to reamp a law, but if they feel the need to, that's where it comes from. But there's a good thing, they are re-ramping laws, um, a bunch of laws that I've actually kind of benefit from, so, which I'm really glad from because social media plays a different role like when you send pictures to somebody um, they're starting to target the people that actually send the pictures instead of the ones that receive it so that is really nice so thank you guys so much for watching have a great day hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving break and we'll look forward to Christmas break which is just less than a month away see you guys later